got the Indiana Pacers at the New Orleans Pelicans right now. Pacers lay in four and a half. I think this opened at three. Uh, Pelicans a plus 150 dog. Total sitting at 232. Uh, we'll start here with you, uh, Carl. Any thoughts on uh, Pelicans Pacers here? Wow. So there are a lot of uh, question marks and injuries in this yeah. game. Um, we know McCollum's out. We know Murray's out. We know, um, oh, Murphy is out. Uh, I think we know Herb Jones is out. Um, I think Daniel Tice is questionable. Uh, mm-hmm. I think Nemhard is questionable for Indiana. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe Turner is questionable for Indiana. Um, so there's a lot of moving pieces here. Um, I would be inclined, g- given what we know now, I would be inclined to lean towards fading New Orleans. Um, they have just not gotten it together. Um, yeah. And I don't, even though Indiana is a really, you know, push the pace type team, New Orleans has not been able to find any scoring lately. And so I would lean towards the Pacers. I would lean towards the under. That being said, if Turner ends up being out, I like his defensive presence, and that would make me a little bit more skittish um, of playing the under. Um, I did not play anything formally in this game, and and I would probably have difficulty doing so until I got a little bit more information regarding the question marks. If if New Orleans, if Tice doesn't play, we've already talked about how they don't have a center and Tice has basically been their center. He doesn't play. Then it's just like, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, no, a lot, a lot of moving parts here in this handicap. I mean, I like what I've seen out of the Pacers like that. They, uh, ended up uh, beating the Celtics there and, and how are they going to respond after that game Wednesday night overtime? Now you got to travel to new Orleans. To me, it was just, I like the Pacers. I don't know if I like them road favorite possible letdown spots. Uh, so I, I didn't get to anything here. Noobs. How say you? Yeah. It's, uh, we're just going to just real simple basketball stuff here. So part of basketball on offense, you have this guy, he's the point guard. He brings the ball up. He passes it around. He gets everything going. The Pelicans don't have one of those tonight. Jose Alvarado is going to try his best. He's a shooting guard. He's going to dribble the ball up, probably just shoot it. Um, it's just going to be really tough for them to initiate. Another big part of basketball is having space on the floor, offensively speaking. That requires people who can shoot threes. The Pelicans have effectively none of those people tonight. Alvarado shoots about 35% from three. Brandon Ingram's just over 40% from the year. The next closest person is Zion Williams at a 25%. Uh, there is not going to be anyone on this team that can bring the ball up, initiate offense, create stuff for other guys. Zion Williamson's actually pretty good at that. I, I imagine we'll see some point Zion tonight, which is always going to be kind of fun, but even if they do do that and they can find a way to get the ball in Zion's hand and try to create, there is no one for him to pass the ball to. There is not really any threats here. I think that if you're Indiana, not necessarily the best defensive team, you can just kind of glom in, slide in, you know, basically do what teams used to do to Giannis, build the wall in the lane, dare Zion basically to pass the ball and see if these guys can make some shots. I think this is just going to be a really ugly game for the Pelicans. I don't know how they get to 110 points or on 113 points are being offered right now. So I'm just going to take a Pelicans team total on a 113 and a half, no ball handling, no shooting, not many points. No. And, and another good uh, team total angle. I mean, it, it, the team total angle, what's appealing about that is like, it's, you can isolate essentially one aspect of the game where you have some more, known variables, uh, especially with some injury question marks and everything we kind of highlighted. So lock it up for noobs on the Pelicans team total under 113 and a half and uh shout out to you, Scott. Saw you check it in on the chat saying happy Friday, go Lakers. Uh, yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see if is the city, I guess it doesn't really matter because it's in Toronto, but uh, the Dodgers are having their uh, parade. Uh, today, so maybe uh, maybe some distractions in LA, but uh, I guess wouldn't affect the uh, city of Toronto. Uh, but I know some of the I know some of the Lakers fans. At least the LeBron was pretending to be a Dodgers fan. At least when they were in the World Series. I mean, LeBron, great. Never too late for LeBron to hop on a bandwagon <laughs> of, a, of a sports team. He's like, oh wait, uh, Freddie Freeman hit a walk off grand slam. All right, yeah. Where's my Dodgers cap, honey? <laughs> Uh, LeBron cracks me up. So Pelicans team total over, I'm uh, sorry, under 113 and a half for noops. 